about it, about a decade ago, our people created um, a stewardship policy. It's a policy where anybody who wants to do any kind of economic development in our territory must come to us to do the, a type of environmental assessment. Slaywatut has always worked with the ideal and with the goal to reestablishing the food sources that sustained us for millennia. In April this year, Kinder Morgan announced their proposal to expand the Trans Mountain Pipeline. Right away, our council said, We're, we oppose that. Without, in a heartbeat, without going to our community and asking them if this is what we should do. So we had to kind of step back, you know, because that's what the media does, does to you, right? They make you react like right now. So we went to our community, we laid out all the facts, we laid out the pros and cons about what this proposal would mean to us, and 100% of the people that, that attended said we need to oppose this. At that time, we struck a committee. Our, our committee is called the Sacred Trust Initiative, and I'm really pleased to see the theme here is sacred duty, inherent obligation, because that's how to, that's how we operate. In the short time that we've been formally a, a working group, we have hosted a number of events. Um, the most telling one, well, it wasn't the most telling one, but in July, we invited the um, Yinke Dene Alliance Council to bring their Save the Fraser Declaration to our territory, and we held a feast. We honored them, and our chief, Justin George, signed that declaration. And we signed it because we know deep down that Hualmuh people, First Nations people, we're going to need each other. We're going to need the support of each and every one to stand up against these projects that are going to devastate, continue the devastation of our, of our lands, of our resources. <laughs> 